you can give everything that you have to give. And when you're a kid, they say, just try your best because that's all you can do is just try your hardest. And this industry, trying your best means nothing. Uh, you can try your best and you can feel so great about that, but there is always going to be someone that is better than you. And until you can overcome that with more training or uh, more perspective, you're kind of just, you're, you're stuck being who you are. I, I, I beat myself up a lot. I have a lot of, uh, a hard time with accepting the fact that I'm not perfect. And I know that sounds silly, um, but it's your ego. Your ego is, uh, is your worst enemy, but also your biggest ally in this industry because if you don't have a thick skin, you won't make it. Um, but I also have a fantastic little brother that comes to my house and spends hours and hours with me uh, memorizing my lines, helping me. He makes me say my, my lines in my own words so I know what I'm talking about, which helps. So he's very good at this. <laughs> uh, I have a boyfriend of 12 years, and he's a wonderful man. I lost my mother when I was 23, and I lost my father when I was 11. So he has been my rock for 12 years. The hardest role I've played was Lois in Dr. Bob and Bill W. And she was a 40-year-old woman married to an alcoholic. Um, but during the production, my uncle passed away, who was unfortunately battled with uh, alcohol and drugs. And his funeral was at five. So I had enough time to finish my first show, go to his funeral, and watch his children bury their father over a disease that I was performing a play about. I had no problem performing that show. All the emotion was real and it was there. Uh, but I knew I had a job to do and I felt like I wasn't just saying the words for the audience but for the world and for myself and for my uncle and it was, uh, it was quite amazing. I felt like I grew a lot after that show because I went from not knowing anything to knowing so much. After the show is over at the Hillberry, when you're yourselves again and you're walking backstage and everyone's walking through this big long hallway behind the, the stage, all walking, getting ready to go out that night or what they're going to do, finish their homework. And it's just a moment for me to, that is my, one of my favorite moments every evening of, we're just these people who put on costumes and tell stories. This is, this is what we do. And it's just, it's a magical moment.